that was cool. shaking up a little bit right there. Oh, goodness. Okay, little guys. Hung out with you this morning. Edited that video. Oh, yeah. Be good. Be good. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, no. More pets. More pets. Okay. Okay. T-Dubs is off. She has a little appointment for some stuff that women get in their lips and stuff or cheeks or whatever you get. No, it's Okay. Love you, Have fun. I love you, too. I'm going to head to uh, Florida. I might be, hopefully I get something come back. If not, I might be back like Sunday or Monday. Ooh, it got cold and breezy. Man. Love you too. If you wonder where Kylan is, our neighbor doesn't have um, any kids. And so she likes to hang out with Kyle a lot. Or Kyle likes to hang out with her. So she's going to watch. She's my best friend. She's my bestest friend. Oh, yeah. All right, let's get going. Well, on second thought, I was walking inside and then he goes... So I'm like, what's going on? Oh, school cool pictures? pictures? Oh, oh my oh. god, I'm gonna cry. Oh. Oh. This is our first one we've gotten from Cash. Where he's smiling. Uh, he's smiling. This is what we get from Cash usually. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Cash, awesome, man. Second grade. Those like sticker ones or magnets? Yeah, oh, those are magnets. magnets. I love it. Oh. Oh, oh man. Well, now let's see good old case. Got a new one for. Oh, there we go. We gotta figure out how we're gonna. Yeah, so it we then. got. I mean, some smirks. Yeah, we get some that was smirks. a pretty that good smile. Good one, no, that yeah, but that one. one's the first like full body. Awesome. Yes. Let's see what Casey looks like. Cry. Oh my little man. Uh, oh, Case, oh of God. course. This kid has been smiling since he came out yeah. of the womb. We he don't. We always get smiles from that. Oh God. Uh -huh. All right. Well, pictures are here, and something else shows up. Oh. What's this? I need to try this one. They said it might show up on the. Like 24th. And See, this is your backup dress? So that's my backup. Wow, it must be nice. It was on sale. You're crazy. So we're going to a wedding on the 20th for, hey guys, so. Yeah. Heck yeah. Alrighty. It's not going to get a little bit stretchy though. Oh, that's beautiful. You like that? Oh. Oh, oh. Yeah. Cool. Which color is the other one? The peach? Uh, gold. Gold. Yeah, but I figured this would be my backup. Go to your appointment. I'm going to get down to Florida. Oh, yeah. Thanks for showing me pictures. I love you. Love you too. Got some coffee to go. Got my bag packed. Let's get going. Ooh, pretty out of here. There she is again. It's pre tripper. Get her warmed up. Get down to beautiful Florida. I haven't checked the weather yet. Probably going to be warm dinner. Looked for loads kind of coming out. It is Saturday. I knew that going in. That's why I got paid, or it is going to be delivering on Saturday. So that's why I got held for a little bit more money than usual. Um, but hey, we, hopefully we don't have to deadhead out of hopefully something will pop up. But I really don't want to just hang out down there for two days. So <laughs> we'll see. Well, it works out for the best, but we'll see if something fruition. Today would be the day to book it, though. If you are new to trucking, um, we'll roll those back windows up. There's no, the brokers are off the weekend. Like there's a couple people for support, but there's no people booking new loads kind of thing, if that makes sense. So you need to get it booked before Friday afternoon because they sometimes check out early. This time I did leave my battery on, so see how good the batteries are doing with uh, a little bit of refrigerator. Oh, still doing fine. <laughs> That's not been that long since we parked it. it. Says 68 degrees and we are rolling. We'll be there about five hours early if we didn't stop once. So I wanted to give myself a good window, almost six hours early to get there. So that's what you want to do, especially with Walmart. You do not want to be late. So here we go. Screws on out to 95 and start heading south. It is windy and busy out here. Uh, I can't really get over for the trash truck, but T's and P's. The trash truck, waste management, waste station's closed. Yeah, but it's windy out here. Woo! It says 73, but it feels nice. Have the windows cracked a little bit and cruising. So, uh, so I emailed my buddy um, from St. Robinson, just told him kind of looking for anything Saturday to get out of there. So he'll see, we'll see if we can keep them up there and they can find something. Just so we don't deadhead home, don't want to have to waste it. Let's see if anybody's even actually there. If you're new to truck, if you don't know what deadhead means, I mean just come back out empty. Drive empty somewhere to a better market or to home or to a shop or something like that. Whatever you gotta do. But it's hard to get loads on the weekend, like we said. So we'll see, grab some. Get to Columbia before traffic. Be a blessing and start rolling down 95. Cruising pretty good, uh, but we are now coming into 
Columbia. <laughs> the other side, there's a little small fender bender. They were pretty backed up too, but uh, yeah, yeah. We've got two more lanes, but we're, I don't know if they're, what they're doing to them. We shall see, no CB chatter. And I can't see past VTS. I like that chromed out back though. The pause. Well, there's a little bit of chatter. Let's see what anybody responds. <laughs> I'm probably right behind you. You want to go on a general trip? No, white W900. Yeah, you, uh, you're probably not uh, coming up to 101A. They're trying to really climb the hill. Yeah, I'm at 100 2. Yeah, or I'll let you know what's going on up here. So, uh, I don't see no wreck yet. But you got how these idiots are. Appreciate it. I do. I don't know what they're doing with construction in the middle of the day. See, it's probably just them moving the cones or something. I don't know. Let's find a gear. Come on. Uh, that one. That's too low. Let's go over here. Uh, there we go. Oh, there's a Dollar General truck, on a truck I can see up there on the left. We, we don't know yet. I'm up here fixing to hit the 101A. As soon as I know something, I'm going to re relay it back to y'all. 10 4, appreciate it. Alright. A little bit of something. As long as we can get through here safe and uh, on the other side of Columbia, it should open up pretty good, hopefully. It's two lanes, but yeah. Looks like they got one of them. I don't know, but I'm getting, I'm at the 101A, so if I get to it before y'all, I'll let you know. Uh, he must be talking to somebody else I can't hear. Maybe he's skipping like JT does. There's a nice uh, LED sign one, one of those ones that's going to read off information. Be useful right now. <laughs> Looks like it's remounted right there. Save the sign. Save that one. That's, that's probably a pretty expensive one. I don't know. 73 and here we go Starting to move now, I don't know what it was Trooper sitting behind them. Okay, we were rolling pretty good for a second, then we stopped again. <laughs> well, I don't know if we uh, if that's it or what it is, but there's a truck on the other side with the lights blinking. Come on, Columbia, It'd be a lot better when all four of these lanes are open. That's for sure. So he just jumped back in his car. I guess he pulled the car all over right here on the middle of the road. <laughs> I don't know. Carl just took off again and the troopers behind him, so maybe tell him to pull the next exit. I don't know. If that guy just stopped right here in the middle of the road, get off to the next exit. <laughs> You're making everybody stop. Oh my goodness. It looks like that's exactly what happened. I guess if you get pulled over, some people don't realize don't just pull over right there in the middle of the road. Get off to a safer area like he's doing now. So yeah, he's definitely getting uh checked or something by the trooper, but that just backs everybody up. Crazy, crazy. Nice Corvette over there, a red one. Black stripe down the middle, I like it. Another guy pulling a truck over there, a little Ford Ranger. Pulled by a Chevy. Alright, well there you go. He's off the highway at least. Just down to two lanes and you block a whole lane with a <laughs> Oh man. Alright. Jesus and peace. If you're uh, new out here getting into trucking, don't pull over in the middle of the two-lane road, please. Go ahead and pull off to the next off-ramp or whatever. All right. Same thing with a little fender bender. Get, get to the next open area. Don't block the whole everything. Some people like to stay right where they were, though. I, I, I guess I think it's a bit better for their report. All right. Come on, Titan. Let's go. Use that 5.6 V8. Horrible on gas, but a good motor. Got a lot of 
brake lights coming up. Don't know if we have some going on or some bad merging. Who knows? Well, myself and that F-250 next to me, we both kind of just shut it down early, give the space. Got one little row of trees on our right. Beautiful day. It's the 74 degrees now. Okay, that truck got back over. Everybody kind of shot to the left for a second. I don't know why. Now they're coming back, so. Uh, Going. We'll probably stop and hit the 77, check over everything, and uh, keep rolling. But yeah, I think it's just bad merging. Very usual. There we go. That's 95 right in front of us. Finally heading south. in there just to try and keep them cool so I haven't had a problem since but always in the back of your mind kind of worries you here's old 77 oil temps at 200 coolant temps about 175 180 we're cruising good out here for being 74 degrees there we go this is actually where my Volvo also my starter completely stopped working I thought it was my batteries it would be like a real slow start, but it was a starter. <laughs> Had a guy come out here, luckily he uh, aired me up and pulled me out of the, this first bay I was in right here. Got some people over there to Maxima, just chilling out. I don't know what they're doing. They got like a cat holder. I don't know. Okay. There we go. Bear to clear that pump. And we're going to stop right here on the left. All right, let's get some quick lunch, get back on these roads. Try and get there about five hours early, like I said, and get some shut eye. Okay, St. George, South Carolina. A big old, it's like a C-130 up there or something. All right, hold her off the side, let's get some grub. Well, that was some good food. I had a chicken enchilada burrito and a, like a little quesadilla thing. Yum yum. Let's keep going again down 95. Before we do though, this is what I have. It's like a um, infrared thermometer. You can get them at Harbor Freight. I think you can get them at Home Depot and stuff too. 102, they're about 30 bucks. 99, that's good. If you're under 100, it's pretty good. The rule of thumb back in the day was if you could touch it with your hand, and not have to pull your hand off, you were okay. So if you had to touch it with your hand and you could not keep your hand there, not okay. All right. 98, not bad. 99, okay, looking decent. I don't know what this guy's talking about, but he was saying shoot down helicopters and stuff down the highway. I don't know. We're cruising good on this side, T's and B's for northbound. Um, it's 
been stop and go a couple times. Just coming out of here, but windy, windy, 76 degrees, and the further we get south, the hotter it gets. All right, let's ease peace. Let's keep rolling. Almost to Georgia. That's an old fifth wheel. Looks like we lost the whole right side of the axle or something. Yikes. All right. Cruising along. Northbound's doing okay. Welcome to Georgia. Just went over the Savannah River. There, here's our way station on Friday. It's still very windy, but 78 degrees now. Uh, one of my friends texted me and asked me if we're going to be at the lake, and I said, no, it's always going to be 80 degrees all weekend. I said, well, got to work, man. Got to get back to it. Took too much time off getting the K100 cab over, but it was kind of like, um, I, I'm not a busking disguise, but the, the loads were non-existent anyways. There was not much happening after the eclipse, so guess it all worked out. We got our uh, K100 during the eclipse, the first day. That we had it at the shop. All right, now northbound, more northbound still. Oh. We've been blessed to just not have much going on here, but yeah, yikes. Passing our exit that we like to stay at with Walmart and Home Depot. A little lighthouse over there kind of depicts the same lighthouse out there on Tybee Island, which is awesome, about 20 miles to our left. But that wind, oh, I just passed an RV back there. He was swaying, pulling a Mini Cooper. Got some merging going on because it is, what time is it right now? About 4.30, 4 o'clock, so people getting off work. We are not merging very well right here. Here we go. Okay. Hit the fuel. I should probably get in the left lane. All right. Okay, on the pilot. You got this. There you go. All right. Let's keep rolling. Getting through Savannah. Oh, yeah. Those trees are flaring. See a little glory over there? is flying. That's a big, big flag right there. Beautiful. My little flags on my whips, they are also flying and stream rings. <laughs> America. God bless America. Let's go. That was close, shaking up a little bit right there. Ooh, that was close, shaking up a little bit right there. Um, ooh, did not get video of that, but the dreaded S turn. Whoa, you'll re there's a reason there's no cars coming up out here, but a few. I have 250 in his trailer, open trailer. Um, just clipped the heck out of the front of like a Hyundai. Uh, and there were the two left lanes, I was in the right, slammed on the brakes, and barely missing two other cars. That was crazy. Okay. It's a great group right now and I can like smell the air conditioning like the Freon. Oh man, that was crazy. Okay, it's easy piece for that. Nobody was hurt. It looked like they just rubbed each other. But the trailer went flying and he went to the left and, sh and the other car stayed in the middle lane. Alright, if you get stuck behind that, guys, I'm sorry. It's easy piece. I was right behind that. I was like from here to right about... Say where that car is about now. I was like, oh my goodness, here we go. And I just hope nobody got flipped over or nothing. Woo. Thank you, God, for watching over us. T's and P's. Ah, oh, my goodness. One of the most highly trafficked areas uh, on 95, I believe, is right here. Oh, they're out of the car, too. Huh. Getting talked to. This side and the other side on 75 going to Atlanta. They're both very, very busy uh, with uh, state troopers. <laughs> Some local police, too. So don't speed, is the bottom line. We're cruising along 76 degrees, almost to Florida. Don't know if somebody was speeding. 
didn't or what, but the uh, Kingsland Police pulled out right there. Maybe he's got the Corvette. I don't know. But right as I passed him, he pulled out. He's got the Lexus. I don't know. Maybe he's just turning around. It's not uh, state troopers a lot sometimes close to the to the it's always a close to the border of Georgia or Florida sometimes you'll have like police like just local police police out here too so he pulled out but he's just kind of uh, cruising next to the Corvette I don't know wanted to check on something oh now he's got the Lexus all right we'll go ahead and slow it down I didn't see anybody come up flying speeding, but uh, this red truck's right next to me. Okay. what you're hauling most of the time they don't say anything they just give you a thumbs up through the window if you can see them all right gave me a thumbs up okay let's go way station is about another two miles okay speed limit's 45 but the amazon container is Read the signs, please. Now we're down to 20. It says right there, maintain 45. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, jeez. Yeah, 15 miles an hour. There's a, there's a 4 or 5, not a 1 5. And that's pretty much for the calibration of their scale.
pushed the ISX a little bit, but I caught up to him. He's getting pulled by four. Pretty dang uh, fast truck, but it's heck of a hole design too. It's probably pretty smooth on the water, man. Six seats right there and four uh, four motors on the rips. Awesome, awesome. Vegas or not, but it's pretty cool. Class, a little, uh, I called 
the Harry Potter mountain. I think it's some mountain. <laughs> Universal Studios. Man, we got a little traffic merging from Disney World. That's Disney World's right to our right right now. 71 degrees, beautiful outside. Got the windows cracked still. Let's just pray this keeps flowing. That's what I would, would pray for. Keep flowing. Let's say we almost made it, but not quite. Always traffic highway for. I don't know what time of day. Maybe in the middle of the morning. It's just Atlanta. But not as bad. Okay, Disney World. Well, that's why you deliver a lot of stuff down here because there's so much, so many people that come here. It's a destination for Disney World. Okay. Let's just pray. Keep moving. Keep flowing. Exit 48. We made it. Okay. Hit the Jakes and shut her down. Get her slow. Or be that Mustang and just fly by. Uh, my appointment's at 3.15, but I just know where to park out there. So. Yeah, if it's at 3.15, we can take you at 2.15. It's just one hour. Okay, so where do, where do you suggest you park? It says no parking anywhere. There is a parking lot, like a truck stop. The first one is out. You have to get 17 notes and pay um, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and you will find it on that side. Yeah. Ooh. I that's know not, another that's not one. nice for truck drivers. Yeah, I know another one, but it's... Why can't they just park out here? Yeah. Out here on the, on the road. Yeah, two lanes. Yeah. The police sit right there. Yeah. <laughs> That's not very nice. All right, so 215? Yeah. All right, I'm going to check. All right. I'm trying to check a few numbers. Two oh, two All right, thank you. Well, on that note, guys, um, I could have sworn you could park out there before, but now they have a police officer sitting out there. All this room to park. He's telling me to drive 25 minutes back <laughs> and go to a truck stop and come at, at 2.15. Like, okay. Wow. Thanks a lot, Walmart. You're doing great things. So I was just going to park out here and get my five hours of sleep. Um, but there are these huge signs that say $250 fine, like tow away. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I haven't been here a long time, but I don't remember that. Uh, so then there's you see those headlights over there to the right. It's just a police officer, I guess, just waiting for you to park there. So yikes, 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 Walmart. Uh, why? When you have all this room, double lanes on both sides, to let truck drivers park here. But no, give them a $250 fine. That is insane. Alrighty, we will go uh, down to the truck stop. Let's see if I can read one of these signs. There's a police officer giving him a wave. Well, I guess he's just doing his job. They probably pay him. Uh, Enterprise Boulevard, $259 fine and three points. Three points. So if you park on this road, you will get a $259 fine and three points taken off your license. Like, we're trying hard enough already to keep our CDLs clean. Our insurance is through the roof and you're going to find us for parking and trying to get some sleep. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I hope somebody at Walmart sees this. Look at all the room you have. Two lanes. You could have just cemented that hole or uh, paved that extra lane over there and let, and let guys have a nice place to sleep, especially when you're driving this far. No littering. $500 fine. My goodness. Woo. Alrighty. Well, on that note, guys, uh, God bless you. I'm gonna ahead and get some sleep. I'll close this video here. I'll probably edit it in the morning. Um, but yeah, let's get some sleep and I'll see you on the next one. Do better, Walmart. Come on.